So before we go ahead and jump right into this course, I wanted to give a bit of an overview just to show you what we're going to be making by the end of this series and do a little bit of call outs to certain things that we'll be taking a look at in specific videos. So this is going to be the high poly version of our finished asset and is really going to be the mesh we're working on the most throughout this series. In this series, we're gonna be taking a look at using spline based modeling to get a lot of these more intricate or complex shapes. And as well, we're going to be taking a look at developing a lot of these more interesting connector pieces with the rat and wicker material. And so a main focus of this is really going to be on material design and taking our very simple geometry, if I go ahead into wireframe here, and developing it into something that looks very convincing and believable, albeit very simple behind the scenes. We'll be developing a lot of these materials in Substance Designer, and then we'll bring them over into Substance Painter, where we can go ahead and apply all of these really high quality materials onto our unwrapped asset. And from there, we'll bring it back into Blender, and we'll go ahead and just create a game version of this particular asset that's going to be still very high quality. And we're going to focus on retopology with an emphasis on maintaining and preserving silhouettes and profiles of our asset while reducing it to something that's more agreeable to game engines and game pipelines. However, we can see that for all intents and purposes, the quality of the texture work is still going to hold up to our high poly here. And finally, once we're all done with everything, we'll go ahead and quickly render out in Blender and render out in Marmoset Toolbag 4 to quickly get you established in developing portfolio renders. So let's try and keep that excitement and momentum going forward. And I'll see you in the next video where we're going to take a look at setting up this project to get us running off the start.